What's up guys? So part three of our mission that started three weeks ago now. You might have been watching the videos. Well today we're in the last stretch and this is Wolf Waterfall that we go into. And from there we go into Las Lapas Lookout which will end our trip up this Arima Old Road. It's been a real nice day my boy eating something there was that? We had some padu, padu. We came across a, a tree. Mm, I never see that in my life. <laughs> yeah. From the city boy. So we started at El Brasso Trace and we going down the trace until we came to we come into the junction to cut off to go down to the river by Wolf Waterfall. Alright, let me go lead the way. Mm -hmm. There we go. Blazing sunshine earlier, rain in the evening. So from the track we started and walked down, it took us about 15 minutes downhill to get here. Fairly straightforward, but you had to watch your foot in. It could be a little slippery and have a few rocks and roots that you get tangled up in and nearly fell a few times. But this is the tricky part. And again, you could try and do these things on your own. I provided you with some framework, but you're probably better off hiring a guide or going on a, a proper tour and that kind of thing. Because it really is not straightforward to find these very, very off the grid places. Trail that we've been walking down, all of a sudden, you just cut off and turn into the bush to head down this waterfall. You'll walk past that, you would never even know. My boy now pop up a, yellow, um, a pink tag like we've been doing along the way, so it can help you if you find it. Hey there. Right, so there is a tag, a marker, but it is difficult to find. And uh, I'm gonna follow him into this bush now, so let's go and check it out. So after a lot of trickiness and vines and thorns, we have reached the Wolf Waterfall. It is very beautiful. I will say that this hike was a little tougher than everything else we did recently and it's definitely bush bush. But check it out. As you can see, this waterfall is significantly taller than the last few from last week. Unfortunately, I won't be able to fly the drone here. There's too many vines and too much rain and then sun. As you can see, the sun now coming out behind me there. But it's really beautiful. Trinidad and so much to explore. Tobago, obviously, as well. I had to separate them because there's so much sometimes, you know? But honestly, epic, epic, epic. Hi right, guys, so this is the end of this trip. This would be the third video and you can see I'm soaking wet. <laughs> that last hike I only took so much footage because it was proper licks and proper bush. Proper My boy didn't clear up that trail properly. I was ducking and crawling like I was in the <laughs> army. Real action. But anyway, this is our last stop today. And again to bring in this to you that you could do this hike with Trinity Safe and Island Grill. Even my brethren back here, they have their tours as well too. Just tripping. Just tripping tours. Mm -hmm. You know, so there's a lot of decent people coming up in Trinidad and Tobago who are worthy of your time to take you on fantastic adventures. And the sky has changed. It started out sunny, now it's again rainy, etc. But this is the last stop, last lapas lookout. We'll show you what we can. It's a little cloudy, but also up here in the middle of nowhere, there's like a little shop and stuff too. It's a good spot to get a little snack and some water as anything too. So yeah. That's it for the video there. I'm just going to show you wrong and then next wrong, hopefully you are here with us on the tour. Peace. Peace.
Yeah, that is a view.